Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. All right, so this is the faded deck from Magic Makers. Now I'm not calling it a distress deck because there's already another deck on the market called the distress deck. This is the faded deck, okay? And so I think there's about, th I think this is the third uh, kind of roughed up deck you can find out there in the market. However, this one is probably my favorite. The front of the tuck case is gonna look like a standard rider back deck uh, tuck, except for the fact that it's the old school back design, which every card collector loves. Uh, but instead of a, a white uh, bevel, you're gonna get a kind of like a cream faded paper look. And you're gonna see that throughout uh, with the deck as well. You're gonna get a standard tuck seal. Nothing else on the front of this says Magic Makers other than the little ad copy down here at the bottom. But you know, if you were using this for magic tricks, your spectator would never really see that. Uh, everything else about this tuck is gonna look completely normal. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Of course, these cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion embossing. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. So because this deck was made from Bicycle, of course, it's gonna be a nice stock. Um, this stock is super thin, uh, but it's really flexible. It's got a lot of snap to it. Got the air cushion finish, so it's nice and glidey. Uh, it's not gonna clump on you. But of course, it was made for Magic Makers as a, a Q1 deck, so your edges are super smooth. You got really nice round corners, a lot of spring to this, a lot of good action. Uh, I really enjoy playing with this deck. The back design is gonna be the standard 808 Rider back deck. And if you don't know why these decks are called 808 decks, you probably never turned the box of cards upside down and stared at the UPC. The UPC has the numbers 808 in it, as well as the Ace of Spades says 808 as well. And so these are usually referred to as Rider backs or an 808 deck. Again, you can see the distressed uh, imagery there. Uh, like it's been torn or shredded or just ran over by a truck. <laughs> you get the same size border, same back design that you're familiar with from Bicycle, but it's just made to look uh, more distressed. The faces are the same as well, and so you're gonna get standard faces, but just that distressed look. And there's no differential in color between the border and then the face, so you get a nice, consistent, uh, look as far as the art goes. And so uh, it's not just like an overlay. You know, every single card looks the same. Every single card has a little bit more of a beat up or a distressed look depending on whether it's a court or a spot card or yeah, you name it. So again, I think people will be familiar with the colorings, uh, like the faces, the courts, you know, the numerics. I think all of that will be familiar to you. It just has a really nice vintage scratched up distressed look. And because Magic Makers is a magic maker company. <laughs> they make magic products. Uh, instead of any ad cards, uh, you're going to get three gaff cards. And so you're going to get all the cards you need for Million Dollar Monty. You're going to get all the cards you need for Million Dollar Monty. Uh, it's three cards. Uh, one of the cards is actually not a gaff. You get two gaffs and you get an extra card. So that's another nice thing too. Uh, instead of just using that one extra card for Million Dollar Monty, you could actually use it as an extra card. So you could use it for, you know, card to orange or whatever you needed an extra card for. All right, so that is my review for the faded bicycle deck from Magic Makers. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and you can always find more content at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.